Korea's southern port city of Busan is hosting an annual drone show, the largest in Asia, celebrating its 10th anniversary. This year, drones for defense took center stage. Our correspondent Moon Hyun joins us here to share more about the future of that particular technology. Hyun, tell us about what you saw at Drone Show Korea. Well, Jungmin, as drones become increasingly more autonomous and able to carry out a variety of different functions, they're beginning to change the face of future warfare. So let's take a look at some examples. When you think of a drone, what image comes to mind? For many, it's a small full propeller device hovering in the air. But what truly defines a drone is not its shape or size. It's the fact that it operates without a pilot on board. This makes drones invaluable across various sectors, a point underscored at Drone Show Korea 2025, Asia's largest drone exhibition. Marking its 10th anniversary this year, the event placed a strong emphasis on the growing role of drones in defense and security, as these unmanned systems become increasingly central to modern warfare. The wars in Ukraine and Gaza have underscored the growing importance of drones in modern warfare, and South Korea is also ramping up its use of drone technology within its military. The Republic of Korea Army showcased surveillance drones designed for reconnaissance missions, while the Republic of Korea Navy unveiled unmanned underwater vehicles capable of navigating restricted and high-risk areas. The Air Force showed its vision for unmanned systems integrated with artificial intelligence, where drones can reduce casualties and address manpower shortages with the country's declining birth rate. This manned and unmanned combat aircraft system enhances pilot survivability, maximizes operational efficiency, and enables a single aircraft to carry out the missions of six or seven units. As a result, it is considered a game-changer in future warfare. Recognizing its strategic importance, South Korea is investing significant effort and resources into its development. South Korean drones are also gaining popularity around the world, such as in Southeast Asia as they search for alternatives to cheap Chinese drones with security issues becoming more prominent. This company not only develops surveillance and attack drones for the Korean army, but also exports smaller drones to the Philippines where they're used to make the streets safer. Delivery drones that are capable of lifting heavy equipment to high altitudes are also popular overseas, with this company supplying them to film sets in Hollywood and to the Jordanian Armed Forces. You mentioned in your report that other countries are beginning to look to Korea for drone technology. Tell us more about that. So during the event, um, when I spoke to many industry insiders, I found that many South Korean drone firms are beginning to export their products overseas. And rising demand was reflected in South Korea's drone exports, which saw a surge of more than 260 percent last year, according to trade data from the Korea International Trade Association. And this comes as the U.S. government seeks to tighten regulations on drone components and technology with the intensifying U.S.-China tech war. One thing that sets South Korean drones apart is our advanced technology in secure communications. We've developed systems that can block unauthorized signals, prevent external intrusions, and neutralize potential threats. In this area, we're ahead of many other countries. Citing security concerns, the U.S. Bureau of Industry and Security has warned that China's dominance in the global drone market poses significant risks, particularly in areas related to data security and potential misuse. Well, in that case, what can be done to foster this growing sector? So despite the growth in drone exports last year from South Korea, um, South Korea's drone industry actually remains relatively small in the global drone market. And thus far, local governments have taken the lead in regulatory reforms. In July last year, the city of Songnam established de de dedicated drone parks and expanded anti-drone countermeasure protections, while the city of Potan began administrative procedures to reclaim a former military base to transform it into a hub for drone manufacturing. To foster further growth and expand exports, industry experts stress the need for regulatory reforms and government support, particularly as South Korea's drone sector is dominated by small and medium-sized enterprises and startups rather than small large conglomerates. Interesting. Thanks, Hiran, for the report. Thank you for having me.